All right, guys, welcome back. So today on Modern Masters Auto, I have a treat for you. I have a Whipple-powered SL55, a Whipple-powered CL55, both from VRP Speed. And then you guys have already seen my GTS video. We are gonna get base numbers on the GTS today and see what it does on the dyno with the VRP intakes, the Rentec tune. So when I do the other mods, we know where we started at. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, let's start with the SL55, just so we're clear what we have here. This is a VRP Whipple Gen 4 2.9 liter. We have the VRP belt wrap kit with a VRP HD tensioner. Looking awesome, dual HD belts. We have this awesome intake. I even welded it up to three inch, so it goes in the coupler real nice. The three, the three inch has a Hellcat throttle body. Oh, this is the SL55 with the VRP cams. This thing has some chop. So this is going to sound awesome and it should make a pretty decent amount of power being cammed. The intakes are a little restrictive. They're beautiful, but they are a little restrictive. We found that out on many of cars. So it's more like a daily driver setup. If you want ultimate bang for buck, put a honeycomb filter back there, mushroom filter, however you want to call it, and let her breathe. Top mounts always are good, but this has an awesome trunk tank with a killer chiller in the rear that we designed to put it out of the heat of the engine bay. It's a really cool setup. I will show you that at the dyno, but that is what's in the SL55. And both of these cars are VTEC tuned. So don't forget VTEC and all these parts are provided by VRP at vrpspeed.com. And now let's go to the CL. All right guys, so same thing here. Awesome Gen 4 VRP 2.9 Whipple, Hellcat throttle body, Beautiful intake setup, VRP HD tensioner, and this one has the upgraded tensioner, the 50 pound tensioner, so that's a serious tensioner. VRP belt wrap kit, VRP dual idler. No cams in this one, but it does have a VRP billet crank pulley. We did a video on that, link down below. And yeah, so this thing should make amazing power. It's not cammed, but it does make a little bit more boost with the lower crank pulley. So they might be on uh, even playing field. This one has less cooling mods though. Only has a trunk tank and heat exchanger, no killer chiller. So we'll see what, how that plays out with power. But yeah, this is the CL55. Looks beautiful. I mean, both these cars are just gorgeous, perfect builds. I love it. Now let's go to the GTS. All right, guys, and you saw in Florida where I put the VRP intakes on, super easy, and what an upgrade. The sound, the performance, the VRP heat shield back there, and this is where we're gonna start with this car. So we have Rentec blow-off valves, VRP intake, VRP heat shield, and a Rentec tune, and we're gonna see what our base is. And then turbos, downpipes, fuel pumps, billet intake manifolds, high-pressure fuel pumps, clutches for the rear. I'm excited to see Rusty do that. Spoiler that he's gonna end up having to do that at some point this year or next, depending on how far we get with it. But that's the GTS, but let's go down the line. So there's the CL, looking beautiful. The GTS, Jesus, that thing is beautiful. And then the SL. So look at how awesome these three engine bays look. All VRP powered, looking awesome. So let's get to the dyno. All right guys, I'm at Hub City Dyno. As you remember, we have filmed on this location before with Alex from Legit Street Cars. We dynoed, uh, what car did we dyno of Alex's? Oh, my car. Mm -hmm. It was my car. When we got the Whipple done the first time, we dynoed my car here. And you guys remember my good friend, Irv. So Irv is the owner of Hub City Auto. And if you need any maintenance in Hagerstown area, if you need dyno time, he really wants to show this dyno off. So come out, try to set a record at his dyno. He's here Monday through Friday. Monday, through, Monday Friday. through Friday, nine to five? Nine to five, nine eight to five. Eight to five, Monday mm -hmm. through Friday, eight to five. Come check out Hub City Auto. Come use the dyno. Try to beat my numbers, bet you won't. And let's get started. Yeah. Russ, you almost done under there? He said no. He says no. And we have Irv here today helping us out. We have a good tall friend of mine. Stand up, look at this. Look, gee, he's I mean, taller than Irv. Yeah, but Irv's already pretty the, tall. And Irv is way taller than me, look, look at we this. We look normal. Another foot, jeez Louise. So <laughs> this is Nick. You remember his C63 at the shop uh, mm -hmm. when we did the Driven to Cure segment. He was there. But let's get these cars on the dyno. Let's get some horsepower out of them. And then let's see what the GTS is gonna do with that Rentec tune. All 
All right, guys, so the tension is not putting enough belt to make boost. I was watching boost this run and it was like 11.9, 9.9, then seven. So we need to figure out the alignment, maybe put more tension into the belt and then she should rip. But this is why we dyno everything because we would not be able to do this on the street so I'd no longer street tune anything. We need to have it on the dyno and check everything out and make sure she is ready to roll. It dipped down on the end. All right, guys, so we struck out with the belt set up. We hit 16 PSI, but then it faded down to seven. We were still able to hit 520 wheel horsepower, but we're gonna change the HD tensioner setup to the VRP's newer one that has more alignments in it to allow the tensioner to sit at a different angle. And then we will come back, but we're gonna get this car back to the customer, let him drive it, enjoy it in summer. And then we will throw a, a better tensioner so he can get some more boost out of this thing. But right now, 520 horsepower, on, I think it ended with seven PSI on a Mustang dyno. So that's probably close to 600 wheel horsepower on a dyno jet. I think he's gonna be really happy with that. And that's good for the break-in from all the motor work that it's had, the blower, the LSD. He'll be able to hit some car shows with this thing without a problem. All right, we have the CL55 getting loaded on the dyno. We have it strapped down. We have the underhood tank in here and flowing. And check out this billet ice tank lid that is awesome from VRP. So the ice tank is flowing, looking good. Nick is parking the SL55. And I will show you the trunk tank set up in this. But look, listen to these cam. Literally made all that power with no boost. All right, guys, so this is the ice tank set up on the SL, and damn, that is cold. There's no heat back here from an engine or anything, so you got this giant chiller that feeds the ice tank and sends it up front. The extra pressure from all the flow comes out of this. There's a drain in the trunk here, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So if you threw a bunch of ice in this and it overflowed, it's going to go right out the drain. Not to worry. Close this up. And then boom, nobody's the wiser. You have an awesome setup back there. We love these. We want to do it to all of them. Hopefully the CL guy later will add a chiller in his because that will be awesome. <laughs> you need to get a supercharger. No. Yes. It's 11 grand. Quit talking about all the silly. You're going to spend five grand, six grand into a nitrous kit, two grand in the meth. Buy the blower. You don't have to do nothing else. Stop being cheap, Nick. Sell more cars at your Dodge dealership. <laughs> That's buy what he needs to do. Yeah, buy a Hellcat from Nick. If you need a Hellcat, they have them in stock. Email me and I will send you Nick's information and you can get a Hellcat today to help this man buy a VRP supercharger. So, well, he's off today, but tomorrow. Well, actually when this video airs, it'll be a Saturday. So yes, he will be working. I will be floating around my pool. He will be working, <laughs> selling you a Hellcat. So don't forget to do that. You guys ready? What was that? Same Belt? Yeah. What power did it make? That stinks! That belt stinks! We are not having good pulley days. No, and it's trying to come off that bottom pulley. Oh, the lower crank pulley? All right, guys, we're about to run my GTS on the dyno. It's all strapped down. And don't forget 
these cars are not going to make huge power on this dyno. This dyno will hurt your feelings every day if you're looking for a ridiculously high number. We are here to see how the tune is doing, how the air and fuel is. We are not trying to set some record. We are testing these cars so we don't have to do it on the street. This is the safest way to get the data we need for the tuner without running it on the street and risking getting an accident. Everybody needs to stay safe, utilize your local dyno, hit up Irv if you're in this area, but let's see what this car is gonna make on the Rentec tune. So 480, 600 foot pounds, 40 horsepower, 600 foot pounds of torque. I'll take it. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Really happy with how everything turned out today. We have some belt issues to fix. We have some tuning to do. All of them are on a base tune. They did really well. So if you like this video and you like seeing us at the dyno and you like seeing these cars in action, give this video a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and subscribe. And most importantly, tell me what car I should get Rusty next so he can be as cool as me in the AMG GTS because his last car was the E63, but I think it's time he gets a bi-turbo. What do you guys think? I also like the mini trucks, the little Japanese things. So keep that in mind. No, no.